Hey guys, what's up? My name's Will. I'm here with Core UFC Gym. Today we're going to be working on a little foundation thing that I've always ran. It's called trigger drills. One thing I've noticed in martial arts world throughout the years, whether boxing, kickboxing, etc., there's going to be certain combinations that just become triggers. It becomes a natural reaction for you to return, to be able to stop people from pushing forward, etc., etc. Uh, so when we get to drilling today, you'll be able to see some of these combinations that we put together. First drill that we're starting with on the uh, agenda of trigger drills. I always start with my foundation up. Just a simple kick return drill. You always want to make sure you're answering back and you always want to make sure you have your base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage my partner with my right kick. She's going to check with her lead leg and return with the lead leg. At the same time, I'm practicing my K1 block, which is also going to help me with other triggers later on in the combos that we're gonna learn. So here's our drill back and forth with your partner. Here, return, then she would go. Check, return. Alright, so second one, adding on to the reason for the K1 drill. Now we add counter for counter. These are also, again, trigger for trigger. We start with the right low, the return with the switch. My right hand is loaded, cross hook, finishing low. This is your step two of triggers with kicks. And here we go. Boom, boom, cross hook, low. She would go. Boom, trigger, pop, pop, low. Coming back up top, getting our hands back involved, and just making sure we're staying nice and narrow to build into these triggers. We're just staying with a simple double jab cross, using one hand to block and learn on our reaction. So just simple, back and forth, one, one, two, here and here, one, one, two, to start off. Bop, 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 bop. We're just moving right now, getting our groove in. Back and forth, hum, hum, hum. Hum, hum, hum. We're not coming here, we want a nice straight line for right now. Keep it right beside your chin. And then we're gonna add the pull trigger now, which my partner with the catching hand is just gonna add the hook. Catch, hook, cross. Then we're gonna add the switch at the end. One more time. Hop, 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 switch. And this is what it'll look like. And as you have a system, a system of triggers building you up from your kicks up to your hands, just something you can play with at home. Uh, later on, we kept kind of going into this, but now we're about to use some timing sparring to acquire all of this with known combinations versus us just kind of throwing wildly. Um, with us knowing what's going on, it's just going to make our hands faster, it's going to make our eyes quicker, we're just going to be able to start reading a lot easier. So hey, take what you got at home, try and drill it at home, make sure you have a foundation, that's the first start. Thank you guys.